Claymore is one of those series that I feel like everyone likes. It just doesn't stay in the forefront of people's minds. I think that's a shame. It should be talked about more tenfold. Throughout Claymore, you are introduced to incredible characters in a vast, expansive world, all drawn in a very memorable and unique art style. I would recommend you read this manga. It is definitely worth it. If you have not heard of Claymore or don't know much about the series, a summary is in order. But before that, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like and sub button, it would greatly be appreciated. In a world gripped by paranoia and death during the Middle Ages, the remnants of humanity live in constant fear. The mere mention of the word Yoma sends shivers down their spines, conjuring vivid images of monstrous beings with an unstable appetite for human flesh. Yet the terror of their gruesome hunger pales in comparison to their ability to shapeshift and steal the memories of their victim. This relentless threat leaves humans perpetually vulnerable, even among their own families fostering pervasive sense of unease. Devising effective means to exterminate Yoma is a rare feat. Enter the organization, unofficially referred to as Claymore, which stands at humanity's sole line of defense. This enigmatic group dispatches female warriors who are half human, half Yoma, known as Claymores, to purify villages plagued by Yoma infestation. And during a solitary and perilous existence, death becomes an ever-present companion for these warriors as they undertake each new mission. The precious fragments of time between grueling battles and arduous journeys are consumed by inner struggle to resist their own Yoma blood and preserve their humanity. Unfortunately, the villagers are aware of their dual nature, reluctantly bear the cost of their protection and harbor nothing but disdain for their supposed guardians. The narrative of Claymore centers around the resilient and low ranking claymore named claire who embarks on a harrowing journey driven by personal vengeance along her path she encounters numerous unexpected revelations about the world she inhabits from the unwavering camaraderie and hope shared among her fellow warriors to the malevolent truths that are hidden within the heart of the claymore organization to continue off the intro, let's talk about Claymore's overarching story. One of my beliefs about Claymore above anything else is that it is a mystery. First, the way it approaches everything has a question behind it. Starting with the Yoma, you start asking which person is one alongside the villagers. Then you are introduced to a cryptic, closed-off protagonist, and the questions keep piling on. With each turn of the page, I felt as if one question was being answered. I was asking another three. I found Claymore masterfully withholds and distributes its information exactly when needed. Furthermore, the characters in Claymore are one of the biggest highlights for me. Each character is well thought out and developed, with unique personalities and backstories that adapt to the story. From the resilient and determined protagonist Claire to the enigmatic and powerful Teresa. Every character has a compelling journey and motivations that keep you engaged. What I love most is the intricate exploration of their emotions and internal struggles, which make them feel real and relatable. The relationship and dynamics between the characters are beautifully portrayed, showcasing themes of loyalty and sacrifice. Claymore's characters are not only visually captivating, but also emotionally engaging, making me generally care about their fates and rooting for their growth and success throughout the series. In my opinion, I think one aspect of art that is easily messed up is the balance between the simplicity and intricacies in backgrounds to bring out the subject of the drawing. I can name many examples of manga that just don't add backgrounds or nothing to fill the white space and it's never done correctly. It just makes the panels and the art boring. And on the other side of the spectrum, you have too many things going on that makes it a sensual overload and you can't make heads or tails of what is happening, let alone the overarching subject of the individual panel. I think that Claymore's artwork is tastefully simple in a way. One aspect of the style of art is the backgrounds that are chosen. The fog is done exceptionally well. It fills unwanted emptiness without cluttering around the foreground. Even panels with backgrounds, your eyes will never feel strained to see what is going on. The subject is always very clear. The expression of each panel is incredible. The characters come alive on the pages as need be. You can see all of the emotion and motivation that the characters have drawn not only on their faces, but in the whole panel. It is not only a representation of the characters that I think is done well, I think the design is also extremely thought out of the Awakened Ones have their own uniqueness to them. They are also truly well done. Truly Claymore is a remarkable series that deserves all the praise that it has received by the anime community 
definitely a must read if you have not already. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I implore you to go check out my last one or the one on screen. And with that said, catch you in the next one. Peace.